Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. The Intentions of the Holy Father for the month of June For the abolition of torture We pray that the international community may commit in a concrete way to ensuring the abolition of torture and guarantee support to victims and their families. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes us this morning. And as we spend this time with Jesus, as we have decided to welcome this day by spending time with the Lord, let us begin by thanking the Lord for all that He has done for us. If you go through our entire life history, we will realize that the Lord has been gracious to us in so many ways. We see that right from the time of our birth till now, the Lord has been generous. He has showered us with abundant graces, blessings. But sometimes because of our busy schedule, we have not been able to recognize these graces. And therefore today as we begin this prayer, let us begin on this note of gratitude, thanking the Lord for all that He has done for us, all that He continues to do for us, and all that He will do for us in the future. And first and foremost, let us begin by thanking the Lord for the gift of life. Lord, we thank you for the various talents that you have given us, all the gifts, all the capabilities. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. We see that there are certain individuals who have been instrumental in molding us. We are who we are today because of their hard work, dedication and time. And therefore, Lord, we ask you to bless them. Help them so that they may be able to continue reaching out to others. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of this day. A day that will give us plenty opportunities, opportunities to complete something that was left incomplete or maybe opportunities 
to reach out to others. And whatever it is, however the day progresses, Lord, we ask you that we may be able to do all these things through your name so that we may be able to reflect your love, joy and mercy to the world. Lord, we also thank you for the opportunities that you have given us. Opportunities to use our talents, opportunities to help others or make a difference in their lives. And Lord, we ask you that whatever we may do today, be with us, guide us, help us, so that we may be able to reflect your love, joy and mercy to the world around us. And now, my dear friends, let us reflect and meditate on Psalm 50. As usual, we shall have an overview of the psalm and then we shall take a look at some of the key aspects of the psalm. And in this way, we shall try to apply it to our day-to-day -day lives and see how this psalm can help us become better individuals or how can the application of this psalm enable us to recognize the work of God or the presence of God in those around us. Psalm 50 is a psalm of Asap, which begins with an introduction stating that God, the Lord Almighty, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. And we see that the psalm goes on to describe God's judgment and the need for repentance. And the psalm we see is a reminder that God desires obedience and humility from his people. And it's important to note that when we speak about humility and obedience, it's not just something to do with ritualistic sacrifices. The Lord wants us to truly mean what we are doing. And therefore we see that the psalm also warns us of the coming judgment for those who do not follow the ways of God. And therefore the psalm is an invitation for each and every one of us to praise and give thanks to God. Now we see that verse 3 of the psalm describes how God is coming to judge his people and it speaks about the fire that devours before him. And we see that this imagery of fire is often used to represent God's judgment in the Bible because as we know fire is something that purifies and fire is something that really tests something. And therefore we see here that one needs to keep this in mind that on the day of judgment we will be judged according to the good deeds that we have done. And therefore, we always need to keep this in mind whenever we engage ourselves in any activity. In the following verses, verses 4 to 6, we see that God calls upon the heavens and the earth to be his witnesses. He then accuses his people of not being faithful and not keeping the covenant. And my dear friends, this is a reminder that God's people are to live accordingly to his commandments and they are to follow his ways. And therefore, we see that Jesus has given us plenty of teachings. All that we need to do is put them into practice. Though they may be difficult, but we see that they are not impossible. Verse 7 of Psalm 50 begins with the phrase, Hear, O my people. And this basically shows that God wants his people to pay attention to what he is saying. He wants them to understand what he is trying to communicate to them. And therefore we see that the next few verses describe how God does not need sacrifices. God is not waiting for people to offer sacrifices. But what God really wants is for people to really repent. And therefore he says that he wants a humble contrite heart. And another thing that the Lord requires is that we have a spirit that is humble and obedient. 
because a spirit that is humble and obedient is willing to change and therefore we see that in verses 16 to 21 there is a kind of a summons or we see that the people who offer sacrifices to God but who don't live according to his ways are rebuked and therefore God tells that it's not important to just offer sacrifices for the sake of offering one really needs to be repentant it is only then the attitude the intention is something that is really important and therefore we see that the psalm ends with a call to praise God and give thanks to him it emphasizes that God is one who saves and delivers his people and therefore he will honor all those who follow his word who follows his teachings and these are the people who will be saved and therefore my dear friends as we have meditated on Psalm 50 as we have seen some of the key aspects of this Psalm let us now close our eyes at this morning hour and let us thank the Lord let us praise the Lord let us glorify the Lord loving father you have given us this time in the morning you have been gracious to us you have given us your son our Lord Jesus Christ who has cleansed us from our sin he has taken away all the sins and he has given us new life Lord as you have given us the Holy Spirit we ask you Lord to bless us and to protect us and for all this O Lord we thank you we praise you and we glorify you you have protected us all through the night and you have guided us and given us good health you have given us this time in the morning and therefore for your great love and mercy O Lord we thank you we praise you and we glorify you you are merciful O God and you have blessed us in so many ways you protect us O Lord and therefore we offer you this day and now my dear friends let us spend a few moments in silence trying to reflect on Psalm 50 try to see what what touched you during the psalm there could be a small aspect or there could be a phrase or a thought which you felt was important be with that thought allow that thought to take root in you and as you do this ask the Lord to give you the grace that you may be able to live this day by following his teachings by obeying his commandments and most importantly doing things from the heart Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of of the heavenly hosts by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls Amen Act of Adoration O Sacrament most holy O Sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, 
I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen.